All right, it's Dan Brooks here with Dan Picar of Eastman's Hunting TV. And today is craft day at Crystal Lake Resort. We're gonna show you how to make birch bark moose calls right now. So the first part is obviously go get yourself some birch bark and you can do that by just cutting a chunk of birch bark out of a tree and then with a knife kind of peeling it off the, the trunk of the tree. Once you have your birch bark, you uh, draw yourself out a big triangle with a flat end on one side. So it can be cut with a good pair of stout scissors. You cut it off and there's your little triangle. You can clear off all the debris on the back side fairly easily and without worrying about hurting it. And then this is the piece of birch bark that we are gonna to use to make our birch bark horn. All right, Dan, the next process is going to be heating this up so that it'll curl. So Dan's gonna help me with that. You wanna take hot water, not quite, not quite uh, boiling, but very hot. And you don't want to use too much because when it starts to curl, it'll start really start to curl lots. Yeah, it's looking really good. So you're just kind of getting the whole thing being thorough, getting everything wet. Get everything wet. Now the, the we want that bottom to curl more than the top actually, so we should be pouring a whole bunch. Give me a big shot right there on the bottom so that that starts to curl. See how that goes. Okay, so we don't want to go too much. If you go too much, you'll end up with a, it'll curl right over on top of itself. So you just kind of tuck it in there nice and tight. Just like so. It's really that simple. Dan's gonna weed tape the ends. Hold it into place there. Just like that. So that's the basic moose call shape right there. This can be trimmed uh, either on, with a knife or on a chop saw. You can cut that off and trim off the uh, little scragglers there as well as this end. You can trim it to the proper melt size. Then this can be left to dry usually three or four hours or overnight. All right, but we don't have three or four hours. So we're gonna show you what we've already done. Once they're dried, you can put a little glue in between that seam. Good old Gorilla Glue does amazing work. A couple of boards on either side and clamp it tight together and that'll give you your final pr product birch bark call once that dries. So this is already dried a little bit. And then, then it'll look like this at the end. Yep. And that's how you make a birch bark call, folks. 